Hello friends, welcome back to this tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will we will look at how to insert elements in the hash table and how to search element. In the previous tutorial, we have seen that how to create hash table and how to display it. Let's continue in part two. So first of all, we are going to uh, search element from the hash table. So for that, we need a function. Let's call it search. And uh, we have to pass argument of type uh, structure type and uh, uh, what is the name of structure pair? And, uh, it's an array. Okay, so that we can pass our hash table. And we also need to know the size of the, uh, the hash table. So we also have to pass that. Okay, let's uh, define the function. What uh, search pair. Name of the array, let's consider AR and the size. Okay. In order to search element, uh, we have to ask the user that which element it want to search. So print user a message. Enter the element you want to search. Okay. Now take the input. And store it inside the variable the behavior of the SE. So, what's next? Uh, yeah, the benefit of hash table is that we can search that a particular element is present in it or not in order of one time. So, how we are going to do that is if in array as a modulus size. So, we know that the index in which a particular element is stored is defined by the remainder after dividing it by the total size of the table so that why we are uh, why we are declaring here this uh, se modulus size dot value equals equals se it means that the element we are going to search when divided by uh, total size of a table and the remainder that very remainder indicates that the particular element is stored there. So if that uh, value is equals equal SE, it means that uh, element is present, element exists at uh, percent D location, and we call this percent D as SE modulus size. Okay. And if it is not, then it is clear that there's a, that the element is not exist. So we print the message to user element does not exist. We have to call this function search. So let's call search. Oops, not search. Only search in V. Okay. Search. Now we have to pass the argument the name of the uh, array. Has table. The size will be size. The size is size here. And uh, we again have to. Yep, it's clear. Now uh, debug this. And again, we have to store the elements. So for easiness, I'm just going to include uh, 91. Okay, these are the elements uh, that I stored in hash table according to their keys. So after that, now we have to search an element. So let's consider we want to search 58. Now if you enter 58, then it's so element exists. Let's enter an element which is not existing. Let's enter the element which exists. So we are going to check 65. Let's see here. Yep, element exists 5. Okay, it's clear. Okay, now we will see that how to insert an element in a hash table. So for that, we have to declare function name insert and we also have to pass the same argument and array and the side of the table okay one thing that uh, we have to know here before inserting an element that a concept of collision if we are going to store a value in an 
or a with index where another element already exists in that case the value will be overwritten so the new value will be stored in that at that particular index so this is called collision so in the another tutorial we will see how to avoid collision but uh, for this case let's only consider the overwriting of the values by inserting them so we have uh, we have declared the function prototype name insert now we have to define it so let's define it yep yes it is now we have to declare some variables let's uh, enter input and we have to print a message with the user enter the element you want to insert and let's take an input and okay now what we have to do is the array that we are passing is we know that uh, the array we will pass here is uh, hash table so what we do here is we know that the value we are going to store is INP so INP modulus size so where the value we have to insert the index where we have to insert the value is the modulus of input and size okay and the dot value so the hash tables which element the element at the index input modulus size okay the value there will be inserted what INP so this value which is taken by the user will store at that, that location where the its remainder its uh, remainder will allocate okay now we have to call the function name insert we have to pass the array and its size after insertion we have to we want to look at uh, what the element look like so display it by us pass, passing as table in size let's execute it What's up? Yeah, we have to pass here the name of the array that we have not passed. Yep, AR. Am I right? Execute it again. Yep, it's running. So what we have to do here is we have to enter the size of table, then enter the elements. Okay, these are the values. Now, enter the element you want to search. Let's consider we want to search uh, the element which is, uh, there is no availability 100. Okay, element doesn't exist. Enter the element that you want to insert. Let's consider we want to insert um, 25, which is not available in the hash table. So, we press enter and let's see the output. The 25, where is 25? Yeah, here. So, the uh, remainder after dividing 25 by 10 is 5 so the 25 is inserted at the key at the index 5 so it is replaced by 85 is has been replaced by 25 this is called collision okay we will look at how to avoid collision in another tutorial thank you for watching subscribe to my channel